is um, part one of a three part series where I'm going to cover modular backup power systems for your homes in Ghana or anywhere on the African continent. Hey guys, welcome to Asher and Gad channel. Making Africa home again, one family at a time. Trust you're all doing well, wherever you are on the four corners of this planet. Making your dreams become a reality gradually on the lovely continent that is Africa. Yes, it's another Tuesday, 6 p.m. GMT. And I have a, another video for you today. In fact, today I'm starting a new video series. It's gonna be a three-part series on modular backup power systems it's going to be a three-part series on modular backup power systems um trust you're all doing well uh, love to the love to all our subscribers uh, our patron subscribers especially in our youtube youtube obviously youtube family um i've been receiving a number of um of emails over over the last couple of months people asking me about um some new products there's new products they're seeing on seeing on the market typically in Mainly in the US, there are, you can get the same products in the UK as well. Um, EcoFlow is called. I think. I think. I think the customer who called me or client who called me was in in Canada. He was talking about the EcoFlow. I looked into it. It's a very nice sort of product. Um, another customer called me about the Tesla Powerwall, and then you've also got the uh, the, the Bluetooth, the Bluetooth um, modular power station. All very very good products. And so, so I want to do a three part series covering each of each of these products so you guys can can have a look at them and see if it's something that you want to go for uh but before that before that there's, there's something briefly i want to discuss and this is especially to all our clients in the united states of america canada or anywhere where you use 110 volts okay especially if you're building in ghana or building anywhere on the african continent and you're looking to bring your your equipment from the u.s to ghana or you're looking to buy equipment from the US and bring it in to Ghana. And um, this is this is advice I'm giving you from a very recent job that a client called us for, called Asher and Gadim for, and he was they were very lucky. They were very, very lucky because it could have been a a fire risk, yeah, or uh, equipment damage or equipment not working at all. It would have been one of those three items. Basically, let me just check my notes to make sure I've got my, my facts right. Okay, so the, when it comes to the American system, the American native system, the 220 volt system in America, the United States of America, is not the same as the 220 or 230 volt system in Ghana, okay, so far as the wiring is concerned. You may be able to get equipment in, in the US, which is to the UK standard, and that would be the same as Ghana, that's fine. However, the, stand, the, the, the 220 volt native system in America, right, is not necessarily the same as the 220 volt system in Ghana in terms of the wiring. Here's an example. So we had a client who's building in in um, in the northern part of Ghana, and he's looking to he's buying his water heaters, um, washing machine, dryer, all, all from the states. Okay, and um, he told his his electrician to install. Is, this is going to be 110 systems and also install 220 volt systems for this for this equipment and uh, the, the electrician went ahead and installed it this electrician is not as experienced as we are so when i went ahead and installed the standard ghana 220 volt system and luckily for the client the client called us to have a if you like a supervisory role on the job and we found out that the client's water heater although the two although 220 volts was not the same wiring as the 220 volts in ghana basically the water heater the american style water heater 220 volts 60 hertz the hertz is different to start with and it needed three wires okay it needed three wires yeah for those of you are electricians you know i won't give the game away but it needed three wires that is the 220 volt 60 hertz water heater from america 
However, if it was a water heater who was buying in Ghana, also at 220 volts, single phase, it would only need two wires to operate. Okay, so <laughs> luckily, unless you would have brought that equipment to Ghana, the, 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 the electrician would have installed the Ghana system to it. You would have got there and say, oh, hold on, I've got three terminals here, but only two wires. What do I do? And it wouldn't work. It just wouldn't work. Or he would have tried to try and fudge it. It would be parallel up the connections, and then, which could be a fire risk. Okay. So the base system was wrong. The client had to suffer some abortive cost because they had to change the distribution board and change the wiring because it wasn't done correctly to, to meet the equipment he was bringing from the America. And so that, you know, abortive cost of installation and obviously <laughs> abortive cost of bringing Asher and Gad consultancy on a, a bit too late in the process. Okay. So what I'm saying is if you are bringing equipment from America, Canada to Ghana, suggest get in contact with us quickly so we can ideally in the design stage, so we can design the systems to, to, to satisfy the equipment you're bringing. But even if you're install, if you're, if, even if you are in installation stage, get in contact as well. And especially if you know the data sheets or the website of the, of the equipment that you're actually buying, we can look at the specifications and let you know uh, if it's suitable for what your electrician has done or not, or if any changes need to be done. Hopefully that was, that will help uh, our US clients. All right. Okay. So um, now for today's video, as I said, just lift this camera up a bit. As I said, today's video uh, is um, part one of a three part series where I'm going to cover modular backup power systems for your homes in Ghana or anywhere on the African continent. My Nigerian brothers and sisters, I, I you know, I, I was in Nigeria a couple, in last month, okay, working on a couple of projects there. They're also using these type of systems as well as the normal traditional solar systems that they can buy in their countries as well. All right. So what do I mean when I say a modular power uh, system? A modular power system is basically a power station, an inverter, typically five kilowatt inverter, okay, that can power the key items in your home, not your entire home. Depending, depending on how big your home is, but typically the key items in your home, okay? I like to, I affectionately call these key items your essential items, the items you cannot live without. Because this is a, a five kilowatt system, if you like. It comes with batteries. You can add batteries on a, in a modular fashion to it. It's modular because you can, you can start with, you know, one battery and then later on add another one, another one, another one, up to about a maximum of six batteries, okay? So it's an inverter which will take power from the mains and also have battery backup. So in the evening, when there's, if there's no power, you, your, your house will still remain live using the batteries. Okay. You will still remain live using the batteries. There is also an option to add solar panels to this system. You can buy the company's solar panels or you can get any other solar panels. Again, if you're going to get any other solar panels, because I know ultimately you'll boil down to cost, you need to make sure the specification of the solar panels is correct for the machine that you're buying. So what machine are we talking about today? Today we are introducing the machine that is called the Blue T, the Blue T AC 500. The Blue T AC 500 at, on your screen, okay? AC 500, as, as I've said, we recommend it to support your essential loads, not the entire building, but your essential loads. And Asher and Gat can help you in the, the design and the installation, depending on where you are, if you decide to buy this equipment to get it connected up for your essential loads. What are these essential loads? All your lighting, internal and external, because you need to see where you're going. Your fridge and freezer, you need to keep your food code. CCTV, electric fence, security system, intercom systems, because you need to be safe. And finally, all ceiling fans. Okay, this is your base essential loads. I have it listed on the screen if you didn't hear me correctly. These other loads are not essential. Why? Because you can live without them. Air conditioning, you can live without it. In I'm talking about a doomsday scenario. You can live without air conditioning. Doomsday scenario meaning maybe ECG power is going to be off for a week or three days or a long period. You can live without air conditioning. You can live without uh, a, you know, a washing machine. Why? Because you can wash by hand. You can live without a dishwasher because you can wash your plates and pots and pans by hand. Okay. You can live without a microwave. Okay, because if typically most people have gas cookers in Ghana anyway, so you can you can you can use the gas. If you don't have a gas cooker, well, go back to the, <laughs> the co-pot. You can live without it. Okay. Now the water pump. 
some people will say oh but a water pump is essential but yeah if you want to add a water pump to your your, your solar system or this battery pack up then it's going to get bigger more you need more and more batteries it's going to get more and more expensive okay if you have water tanks with water storage then you can use the the, the storage in the tank the water tank and therefore um it's not essential because you can you you will still be able to use your water until the ecg power comes back okay also to 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 mitigate that even further if you've designed the, your water systems very well and you had a tank on your you have a tank on your on the roof and the pipe sizes coming down into the building are correctly are correct correctly sized then it means even in the ecg power failure you will still have water water coming into the home via gravity so therefore it's not essential to put the water pumps on this uh, modular battery backup system okay um if you have a tank on the roof and that will save you the capital cost of this system i've prepared i've prepared a um a little um summary video for you guys so it have a watch to give you an overview of what the blue telly or blue blue t ac 500 modular power battery backup system is all about so have a watch thinking about energy independence or building a smart backup system for your home Meet the Bluetti AC500 and B300S, a powerful modular battery solution designed to keep your home running, even when the grid goes dark. Let's break down how this system works, what it can do, and whether it's the right choice for you. What is the AC500? The AC500 is not your average portable power station. It's a modular system, which means you can scale it. At its core, it's a 5,000 watt inverter without a built-in battery. That's where the B300S comes in. This separation gives you flexibility power when you need it, and expandability for the future. B300S Battery Module The B300S is a 3,072 watt-hour lithium-ion phosphate battery with over 3,500 life cycles. Add up to six of these for a max capacity of 18.4 kilowatt hours, enough to power most homes for days. This kind of modular design is rare in home battery solutions. Charging Options with 16 charging methods, including AC, solar, EV station, and generator input, this system is extremely versatile. It supports up to 3,000 watts of solar input, so you can literally power your home straight from the sun. Output capabilities. With 16 output ports, including 120 volts and 240 volts, split phase support, the AC500 can handle everything from fridges and freezers to welders and EV chargers, it's designed not just for outages, but real off-grid use. Use cases. Whether you're living off-grid, prepping for emergencies, or simply want to avoid high energy bills, this setup fits. You can use it with a transfer switch or smart panel to keep key circuits live during outages. Smart features. Everything is managed through the Bluetti app. Track charging, check power usage, and even remotely turn the system on or off. Firmware updates are pushed directly to the units, keeping your system current. Specs, recap, and pricing. The AC500 retails around £2,000, and the B300S adds about £2,500 per module. Compared to Tesla Powerwall or EcoFlow setups, this gives you more flexibility for the money, especially with solar integration. The Bluetti AC500 and B300S are more than just batteries. They're a blueprint for energy independence. If you're serious about powering your future sustainably, this might be the smartest investment you can make. Hope that was useful. Hope that, hope, hope that was useful, guys. Um, as I said, Asher and Gad Consultancy, um, we can help you with the design. If you want to design this into your building, as if, if you're in the, in the design phase, we can help you out with the design to make sure it works, the schematic works, the specifications are correct, the room spatial layouts are correct, and everything, the solar panels if are, are, are the correct specification if you are buying uh, a more traditional solar panel to connect into the system. Uh, we, can help you out with, we can help you out with the design and also help you out with the installation if you are already installing or about to install. We can help you if, an, if, if it's an existing house and you're thinking about getting a solar system or this modular backup system or generator to integrate it into your existing house. Again, Asher and Gad can also assist you in that. We can come and survey the house to see what how we can make the connections work for you all right um yeah obviously you know things boil down to cost most of the time the cost was mentioned in the video you know two thousand pounds 
for the base system and every battery you buy as a, as a top up is a two and a half thousand pounds okay so you know look at look at the cost and, and and compare it contrast to any other options you may be looking for um for those of you who are new subscribers um you, you may not know what our channel is about or our journey so you know you know we offer consultancy services in throughout the continent really uh, mainly at the moment mainly ghana nigeria um design and installation mainly ma mainly design when it comes to out being outside of ghana but uh installation is, is coming as well um so yeah just just watch this watch this brief advert as well and you can get in touch with asher and gad uh, via whatsapp ideally uh, and then we will attend to you are you looking to build your dream home in ghana or are you building already would you benefit from regular site visits to monitor your building and receive regular progress reports well, if that's the case, and that's you, look no further, Asher and Gad Consultancy at your service. We offer the following services, electrical design, construction monitoring inspections, site progress reports, consultation for all items MEP, witnessing of testing and commissioning, periodic snagging, vetting of specialist subcontractors. We also report site activities to you to hopefully help you spend your money efficiently and much, much more. Get in contact for your building needs. Details on the screen, Asher and Gad Consultancy. Make in Africa home again, one family at a time. Welcome back, guys. Yes, as I said, contact us if you need any advice when it comes to uh, electrical systems or plumbing systems. But obviously, this video is all about electrical. Um, I would say if you're going to buy this system, it's, it's, it's great, it's a good product. Uh, just make sure, as I said, um, if you're going to buy the solar panels, then make sure your electrician or if you have another professional electrical designer who understands the theory of the electrical get them to check over before you buy the solar panels or remember you can buy this modular power system on its own with the batteries to save cost you can decide okay if you're living in an area where ecg is is is, is fairly reliable even if it's not that reliable you can just buy the modular power system with the batteries one or two or three batteries Okay. Again, if you contact Asher and Gad, we can do a calculation depending on the, how big your house is and the, and the essential loads that are going to be on this system to determine how many batteries you need. That is very important. We will do the calculation for you to determine how many batteries you need. You can start off with the, with the, with the power system, the inverter and the batteries only. So that even, even if ECG goes off during the day, you will still have battery backup to support your essential loads. The same thing in the evening as well. Okay, so you can start up that way, and then if if your if the cap if your capital is limited, and then later on add on the solar panels, so you have that flexibility as well. All right, so hopefully that was that's understood. Um, get somebody to look over everything before you purchase, ideally, and yeah, so that that's the summary of the the, the blue blue T AC five hundred modular power system. In the next video, I'm gonna cover the EcoFlow system which is also a very good amazing amazing system the ecoflow delta pro 3 and the ecoflow delta plus um i think i think it's a product that's origin originally made in canada i'm not too sure uh but anyway that's a good system and then also the the tesla power wall <clears throat> the tesla power wall i'll look into that as well to um to to bring that to the table and if you have any other questions or anything else you would like me to cover Drop me an email, you know the email, ashagad21 at gmail.com. Ashagad21 at gmail.com. Obviously, get in touch 050 625 1602 plus 233 to start with if you're calling from overseas via WhatsApp, please. Um, and then I'll be able to attend to you. All right, so as usual, guys, from Gad is Kemesia, and from me, Yebeshia. See you next time.